Welcome to my garden. The daffodils are in full flower as well as some of the tulips. This tulip variety is lovely but doesn't match with the color of the replete daffodils. But now another tulip has just started flowering and I think it is the perfect match, so I'm going to swap them. That is why I do not plant directly into terracotta pots, but instead I use plastic containers that fit the pots. The start of April has been quite windy with lots of showers, but during the sunny and dry moments it was quite pleasant. I think the combination of the replete daffodil and the tulip apricot pride is absolutely gorgeous. To get them in flower at the same time will be a little bit tricky, as the replete already started flowering two weeks ago and the tulip only started a few days ago. But I will definitely grow this combination again next year. I think it will also work very well with pale yellow, lime green and creamy whites. Colors that I truly adore in spring. I'm adding another daffodil called Pink Paradise that just started flowering. It is a smaller flower in an apricot color. I will find another spot for these tulips as they are very beautiful with these large flowers. It is really pretty but I'm not sure if I would grow it again. The flowers are absolutely gorgeous, but the stems aren't strong enough to keep the flower heads and are very floppy. I'm really chuffed with my spring bulbs next to the wooden bench. It is such a perfect and peaceful little spot to sit and relax. Make sure to keep an eye out for slugs and snails, as they adore having daffodil flowers for breakfast, lunch and supper. Last year I've planted thyme between the box domes as a ground cover. It was very beautiful until we got a lot of rain followed by snow and frost this winter. They didn't survive and it looks rather ugly. So it is time to remove them and replace them with another ground cover. While I'm going to get some ground covering plants, I will leave you with some more images of the wooden bench area. It is my favorite part of the garden at the moment. It looks so beautiful. It always amazes me how the sighting of these beautiful flowers can lift my spirits and make me incredibly happy. I've chosen small leafed ivy to cover the soil. 
It looks very natural and it is a very tough plant, so I hope it will cope with all kinds of weather. Before I start planting, I'm placing them all on the soil, so that I'm sure that they are evenly spread and cover as much of the bare soil. I think it looks really nice, so let's get them into the soil. While I'm planting, I have to be very careful not to damage the fritillaries. It would be such a shame to lose these beautiful flowers. They just started flowering and in time I will add more bulbs of them. will cover the ground very quickly and I will need to trim it so every now and then to keep it looking good. These little plastic pots are perfect for seed sowing, so I will clean them and reuse them. Even though it started raining, I'm giving them a good watering. I'm placing the tulips that didn't match the color scheme at the back of my garden on my terrace. The floppy one is called Salmon Impression. And the large flowering one with the sturdy stems is called Salmon van Eyck. I think they work really well with the Hellebores. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you ever so much for watching and please subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you next time.